everybody, welcome back to Northern Alliance Challenge Runs of the Binding of Eyes. We've got a very meat themed run today, courtesy of a YouTube user whose name I did not write down and I apologize. But you know who you are, feel free to speak up in the comments. This is the Mr. Meat Run, so we have every single item related to meat. We have 8 cubes of meat, SMB super fan, as you can probably tell just by looking at me. I'm just gonna back off, let these guys do all the dirty work for me. We have raw liver, which gave us a lot of health. Rotten meat, which gave us a little bit more health. Uh, meat, which gave us some health as well as the tears upgrade itself. And actually, in the initial suggestion for this challenge run, Epic Fetus was included. And I was like, man, we're already like way too powerful here for Epic Fetus to even be a possibility. Now, the balancing agent on this run is that I can only take three items over the course of the entire game. So I'm gonna try to choose wisely. That's probably not a super wise choice. Halo of Fly is okay, but if I only get three items for the entire game, that doesn't seem like a very good option. Uh, the Polaroid will be discluded from this. So, you know, I will take three items in addition to the Trinket the Polaroid, but, you know, as is, three items plus a ton of health plus Epic Fetus would have been crazy. Do I really want that health upgrade, to be honest with you? I don't really think so. We're just gonna go down to the next floor. Recall that, you know, Deal with the Devil items will be included in this as well. What I really don't want to do is put myself into a situation where I end up, you know, passing up so many items that I only take two or something, but... Uh, hopefully you understand the conditions of the run so far. I'm feeling like this is gonna be super easy as we get started and will become more and more difficult as we move on, as most challenge runs indeed do. You know what? Skeleton Key seems like an okay pickup to me if I'm only gonna be able to have three items. This will enable me to easily... Uh, I mean, golden chest, here's the, the thing. I think golden chest shouldn't count, but considering we're so overpowered, perhaps golden chest should count. This will allow me to go to every shop, which, or go to every item room and shop, which should uh, also allow me to possibly choose better items than I otherwise normally would. Now, what I might want to do is get a good space bar item and then try to augment it with something from the shop. Uh, chocolate milk is probably not what I'm looking for. Chocolate milk was one of those items where people were like, why didn't chocolate milk end up on one on your 10 worst items list? Well, chocolate milk I don't think is actually universally that awful. It's just pretty bad most of the time. So the, the main chance for failure for me on this run is going to be me taking some bad items or not taking some ideal items. Or taking too many items and thus leaving myself in a position where if I get a good item later in the game, I'm not going to be able to pick it up. Obviously, I'm looking uh, ideally for probably the nail. Uh, you could convince me to get some other stuff, though. I might play that arcade eventually as well. Um, uh, we're obviously not going to pick up this cube of meat, but we will check out the deal with the devil that we were likely going to earn after, because I can't really see myself taking damage on this room. Cubes of meat will basically tear this dude up super quick. Not sure what that one escort cube of meat is doing. Uh, I'm not going to pick up the cube of meat, because that would be one of the items that we don't want to, uh, don't want to use as one of our allotment, I should say. And I don't even really want, uh, the blood bag here. All I really want is to get enough money to make the shop worthwhile, which should is done right now, I guess. Uh, so let's leave and move onwards. Okay, fairly solid so far. We could re-roll that cube of meat for whatever reason. I could also re-roll the um, chocolate milk that we had in that other item room, but I don't think it's necessary at this point. Uh, normally, it would be a, obviously a, a wise course of action, but here it doesn't seem all that important because we, we're not limited by uh, the number of re-rolls. We're limited by the number of items we can actually take, if that makes sense. So, hopefully these cubes of meat just see fit to come over on this side. I'm worried that this is going to be like a GG no rerun uh, right from the get-go. We're only going to have whatever, we're gonna have two item rooms but only one shop on this floor. But again, with only two item allotments remaining, I might not even want to go for uh, item room items. I might just want to go shop deal with the devil. We'll see though as we move onwards here. Uh, compass would be a nice pickup as well. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm uh, excusing golden chest items from this. They are going to count towards uh, my three item allotment. Otherwise, I could probably cheat the system, especially with Skeleton Key now. And I'm starting to regret picking up Skeleton Key, don't get me wrong. And this might be one of those few runs where I don't say on the chest anything goes, because I think that would make things too easy. But anyway, not, that's neither here nor there. Let's actually just, you know, get further into the game before we start saying that this run is way too o OP. I was going to say OG. Maybe it's OGOP. This is the original generation or original gangster overpowered run. And this is a rumor, obviously, my cubes of meat are totally worthless. Extra damage upgrades wouldn't be bad either. Uh, but it would take, you know, something like a mom's knife could convince me to not get battery or 9 volts or nuns have it. Uh, but I still do want to get the nail, if at all possible. Relic would be a worthwhile pickup as well. It's all up in the air right now. 
Uh, X-ray goggles not really that valuable to me. I think Book of Sin also absolutely not worth taking in our current situation. This shouldn't be an enormous floor. It should be pretty big, but um, I doubt it'll be uh, super huge. I should know by now like the exact room size of each of these floors, but sometimes I just don't pay attention all that much. We might as well pop this open to see. It's a range upgrade, not worth it. But we could always come back and reroll that, I suppose. There's our TNT, which is going to make things easier for us. Try not to take any damage here. I mean, the cubes of meat are awesome and, and very powerful, but their AI is absolutely awful sometimes. There's our shop. That's going to be a big moment for us to see if we can get some good items in there. Uh, I would love to save a D6 charge for the uh, Devil Room, if possible. So we have Map, Spirit Heart, and uh, Bomb. We'll reroll it. Ladder, Spirit Heart, and Bomb. What we will do is buy the Spirit Heart, which does not count as an item, of course. It's a consumable, rather. And hopefully our boss room is right here, so I kind of want to just go get this D6 charged up, because we might not have that many chances uh, at getting the uh, deal with the devil. So I've got to go to at least one more room, get, you know, two-thirds of a charge ready, so that when I finish the boss room I'll have a full charge. And then we'll be able to possibly, of course, I mean, people are going to hate me if I pick up Mom's Knife, but I'm going to do it regardless, because it's going to give us the best chance of success. And I feel like that is owed in these challenge runs. We did lose our spirit heart, but we picked up another key, so no longer. If we came across 99 golden chests, we could open up each one, rather than simply choosing one to ignore and having it haunt us for all of eternity. Uh, we're going to have two bosses here, actually, so I totally did not need to go to that room, and would have had my spirit heart if I exercised a little bit of forethought. Oh well. Shit happens, I guess. We're gonna be fighting Peep, and there is a tinted rock here, so we're obviously gonna blow that up. Now, here's the question. Do I really want to pick up the rock that badly? I love the rock as an item, and as a wrestler, of course, uh, but I don't really know if it's worth being the second last item I ever pick up. But it's totally against my ethos to skip a challenge room upgrade, or sorry, to skip a a damage upgrade. So we'll just fight Fistula here, then we'll see if the D6 might be better used on, uh, you know, deal with the Devil Room, or maybe we can go back and, and reroll some of those items on the last room and see what's up. I've taken some damage here, but I think we still may have earned a deal with the Devil due to good service. I'm hoping. Indeed we did. Uh, there is a Tears plus HP upgrade, which I almost picked up by accident, and in our Devil Room, we have Spirit of the Night and Guppy's Head. I'm gonna reroll. Poor Babylon, Brother Bobby. Do I want any items here? Small rock might be a good pickup, but it, it would be like our second last item. Whatever, I'm gonna take it. That's a damage upgrade. We only have one item remaining. Obviously, uh, I've, I'm now basically saying I can only take one more item. Be that a good spacebar item, like a, uh, a nail or something. Or be that, we got some weird slowdown here, it happens sometimes, um, <clears throat> or be it's a, a good damage upgrade like Mom's Knife, uh, Brimstone, etc, etc, or a flying upgrade like, uh, well, not Spirit of the Night I guess at this point, but, you know, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, this, this is some interesting consequences for us, shall we say. I'm, I'm gonna go to the shop, that was some really bad damage, and continues to be some really bad damage. Um, I'm gonna go to the shop. I doubt there's gonna be anything in there I could possibly want. And of course now we are gonna run into Nun's Habit. Uh, which would have been awesome for me before. But doesn't really benefit me all that much now. Because if I took Nun's Habit I wouldn't be able to take another spacebar item. And Nun's Habit plus D6. Effective, but certainly not what you want to be rolling in the end game. Uh, you know, vanilla D6 is not that bad in its own right. Let's make our way to the item room where, again, we could possibly get something. You know, there's another, there's a bunch of items I haven't really talked about that would still be worthwhile to take. Even something like Ipecac, obviously Epic Fetus, maybe I should start looking for secret rooms. Uh, or Dr. Fetus, for example, but we're kind of at the whim of the random number generator when it comes to that. So let's just play it cool for now. Unless I come across something fantastic, we'll probably pass up everything on this floor and, and be stuck with whatever we get in the next floor. But again, I'm kind of holding out for that uh, Mom's Knife possibility. Which sounds like a Seattle indie rock band or something. Just shoot the hearts! I am taking a lot of damage and suddenly finding myself wishing uh, that I had possibly gone with Spirit of the Night. But we're still fine for health. I mean, we have eight heart containers. We might as well play Judgment, to be honest with you. Uh, we can get some consumables out of him regardless. Uh, maybe he'll give us an item as well. And if the item's good, then awesome. If he just blows himself up, that's cool too. Uh, the pill does not count as an item, so it could be a health upgrade for free. Or it could be a health downgrade for free, you know. I guess that swings both ways, sadly. 
Now, we're just going to try to stay in this little corridor here. Let the Meat Boys do their damage. I took a sad amount of damage there, truly. From the switch. Thank you. We're slow enough that I could easily be hit by those guys. We will check out our item room, obviously. Uh, probably save my D6, though, unless... Uh, I mean, no, I'll probably save my D6. And again, awful, awful damage. Very poor dodging for me so far. But uh, we should be able to replenish it. So yeah, we'll save it for now. Book of Shadows is okay, but I'm just checking to see if indeed the boss room is over here, as it, it was. Uh, I feel confident enough to play this one time. I don't know what I was hoping for. I guess a penny to spend on a shop eventually. And enough money to buy something from the shop on the next floor, or none have it on this floor if I wanted to. Uh, but let's fight this boss instead. It's going to be the bloat. You know, there's there's worse outcomes than the bloat with uh, two cubes of meat and decent enough damage uh, standalone. I don't know why I was just standing next to him. Uh, as you might expect, I'm saving this vanilla, or sorry, this uh, devil card as long as I can. Taking a lot of damage in the meantime, which makes me feel bad about myself. But even when I am not capable of hitting bloat, the meat boys are capable of doing damage. So that's good enough for me. We're not going to take the range upgrade. We are going to go back quickly uh, and reroll the item room here again there's a possibility for Ipecac mom's knife or something shears you know again decent item would give us a third meat boy which would do crazy damage but that's the item I feel worse about worst about passing up so far but we still have one more item remaining and many many opportunities to at least get something blue candle purse interesting but uh, not good enough blue candle would be awesome as well so we might start spending some rerolls on this uh, shop here and you know what? I'm honestly feeling like with the amount of damage that I'm taking, this run feels fairly well balanced right now. Two level four cubes of meat is obviously like crazy good. Uh, unfortunately, the meat boys just are standing there dumbfounded. They have no idea what they should be doing. We will, of course, check out our item room as well because Mom's Knife would be awesome. The thing is, if I get Blue Candle or something, immediately Mom's Knife is going to appear in the next item room. Uh, Monstro's Tooth, obviously not worth our time. This chest, probably not worth our time, although I could really use some red hearts right now, so maybe this is valuable. Let's see. Uh, half a red heart for a bomb. Not the fairest of trades, but uh, I beggars can't be choosers right now. I kind of need those red hearts above all else. Otherwise, I'm going to die. The spirit heart is also a nice touch, and the Whore of Babylon looking like it might have been increasingly valuable by this point. Uh, with our D6 remaining, I am going to go back into the shop here. Candle would uh, round out our run nicely, I feel. Wow, that was incredibly good odds, or incredibly good luck. Bad odds, good luck. So now we have the candle, our damage should be crazy. We're not allowed to take any other items for the rest of the game. Uh, but our damage is good enough to, uh, that it shouldn't matter too much. Other candidates that ended up not working out, Nail and Mom's Knife. But we can, um, you know, let bygones be bygones on that now, I guess. So, we're just gonna make our way onwards. Now we're immediately gonna be looking for this boss room. That was an easy room in itself. Uh, a bomb for a half heart. Again, not really my ideal kind of value proposition there. I should be shooting, not just using blue candle. I don't know why my brain thinks I'm doing the pyro run right now or something. And this gives us added defense to use against those late game bosses as well. How's this gonna work out? I don't totally know. But, uh, at the very least, we're gonna give it the old college try here. In terms of items, you know, Skeleton key, candle, small rock. Could have been better, but we're here, so I can't really complain. I should be opening these uh, golden chests. Because, I, I mean, I don't want the items. Thank you for that, Meat Boy, by the way. I don't want these items, but they could contain red hearts, which I do need right now. Sad Onion would have been awesome. Uh, I would have preferred that to the small rock, but, you know, you can't really know this stuff going in. I'm just trying to... Yeah, I'm running, like matrixes in my head what items are remaining how many items do I have remaining to take there's lots of you know give and take and, and guesswork involved basically so I think I did fairly well when the rooms are full of all red enemies worries me a little bit I find it pretty difficult to tell what the F is going on but I'm, I'm proud of the items that we have we're doing a lot of damage our meat boys are doing a lot of damage uh, our health is fine but it started fine uh, due to the initial starting conditions of the run. Will we be able to succeed with this run? I'd say we're probably above 50-50 chances right now of, of beating Isaac. Um, or beating Blue Baby, I should say. Maybe not much higher, and that's going to depend on, uh, you know, how some of these boss fights go a little bit later. I can't believe that Candle did not kill that shot that it shot at me, but alas! Here is our mom boss fight. Again, going to save this Devil card as long as is humanly possible. Meat Boys are going to be great for crowd control and for doing damage to mom. Or they're just going to be pretty good at, like, standing around doing nothing. But that's okay. Candle is going to do a ton of damage as well. Feel free to do anything at all. 
Don't let me stop you, meat boys. It's not like there's two of you and one of her or anything. That was bad damage for me to take. Uh, yeah, we didn't pick up any uh, trinkets on this run. Kind of remarkably. So we are going to be able to immediately... I almost took the box there by accident. We're going to be immediately able to take the Polaroid down to the next floor. Still feeling fairly good when it comes to our health. Sadly, no compass uh, and no means to get a compass, but... Alas, that doesn't really matter all that much. And we're on the womb instead of utero, which usually means good things for everybody involved. Free heart there, which is good because I just lost a heart at the very end, when I really should not have. Almost lost another one right there. I was very confident I was actually gonna lose a heart there. But Chubb is dead in any second now, thank you. As are his Silkworm brothers. Please tell me we are going in the right direction here. We are not. Really shouldn't have said anything. I think I jinxed myself. I don't believe in jinxing, except in Isaac, man. I feel so weird to be like a 20 something male and say I don't believe in jinxing. I mean that should pretty much be implicit by now you'd think. That is a health down pill so obviously I'm going to be ignoring that. Let us make our way over here where the meat boys will lag behind a little bit but that's okay. You know don't always have to be the fastest guy as long as you hit the hardest. Almost got hit there again. He's red so I was assuming that a heart would drop but he dropped a penny. Beats me man. Now play it very cool here. We definitely don't want to get hit by this doppelganger. We could have a difficult boss fight here, or we could have the easiest boss fight in the whole world. It's not totally known to us yet. Uh, that is a live bomb. live bomb. Obviously, we do not want that. Skolex, like I said, could be the easiest boss fight in the whole world. Two level 4 Meat Boys plus Blue Candle is a really nice kind of suite of items to have against Skolex. Even if they end up sucking as badly as they did right there. Might be a somewhat longer fight as I try to actually aim. And the Meat Boys, I guess, are actually not that good at actually hitting it. Wow, that was a lucky shot. Down to the next floor, we're going to be skipping over all of the remaining items, of course. I know I usually say all bets are off when we get to the chest. Not sure if that's going to be the case here. We'll, we'll play it by ear. Or we'll play it by here, he says, as he points to his ear. Thank you, Meat Boy, for doing that. We will take this pill. Couldn't be worse than a health down. Bombs are key. That actually is pretty solid. Gave us 94 bombs, which means uh, in addition to having lots of offensive opportunities via the candle, our meat boys, and our damage, if I wanted to, I could probably handle a number of rooms just by dropping bombs around. Yeah, we are going to be fighting double sloth here. Not my ideal room setup. Might accidentally uncover some tinted rocks for me, though. Which would be very nice. Meat boys should be able to finish it off. And our tinted rock, we've been holding this devil card the entire game. The fool card is not going to usurp that, so... We're going to make our way down to the right side, or I guess up to the right. No, that's the arcade. Why not go uh, to the left side again? That's what I meant, taking all my cues from Beyonce songs, as I want to do. Uh, Meat Boys should be able to take care of a lot of these suckers for me. Provide I wish the Meat Boys were a little bit proactive as opposed to reactive. Shooting the poop to see if there's a heart, but sadly, no. So again, a room full of Larry Juniors. Not the biggest problem of a room we should be facing by this point in the game. That was awful damage for me to take there. But we got a half heart out of it, as well as 12 cents that I probably will never be able to use unless we come across a particularly benevolent judgment. N it really shouldn't be taking damage on blast assist rooms at this point in my Isaac career. Especially twice, but, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes you eat the game and sometimes the game eats you. Wasn't trying to be dirty when I said that. I am very slow, so these lasers do have a pretty solid chance of hitting me. I would say we're pretty much free to just go fight the boss here. We don't need to replenish our health 100%. Meat Boys just started with fire and brimstone there. Immediately killing one of the lasers. Uh, yeah, let's just let the Meat Boys take care of this. I've got to figure out how I'm going to aim these bombs without the Meat Boys kicking them out of the way. That's the real problem for us right now. Although, truth be told, you know, the two level 4 Meat Boys are probably doing as much damage uh, as... A bomb is as well. It was not as good from a crowd control standpoint, but blue candles pretty solid from a crowd control standpoint Meat boys stop coming to me for approval every single time anything happens. This is bad damage for me to take, but that's okay uh, We're definitely gonna be going up to the cathedral at the very least any run where you beat mom's heart is a good run in my opinion The real question is we're gonna be dealing with a lot of effing shots when we start fighting Isaac is it going to be possible for us to defeat him? I think this is our most likely candidate for using the uh, Devil card. That's my guess anyway. Thank you, Meat Boys, and thank you, Troll Engine, for dropping a red heart. Hopefully that's not just, you know, giving me a little bit of hope just in time to dash it all, but... It's okay. 
Keep some blue candles in here. Avoid taking the worst damage of your entire life. Fantastic. And another key. Who knows? That might come in handy. It actually might be impossible for it to come in handy, considering we have nine and we're only possibly going to be opening the items on the chest. We pick up another key here. Sorry, now we have ten. At this point, all of my earlier comments get thrown out the window, because ten keys is infinitely better than nine keys. Who knows, man, that tenth golden chest couldn't contain 90 golden chests underneath it. Actually, I guess that wouldn't help us at all, considering, you know, the, uh, w whatever. Brain, stop worrying about commentary. Start worrying about not getting hit by these shots. And uh, everyone will be happier as a result. Getting a little bit concerned about the amount of damage that I'm taking and the limited amount of health that I still have remaining. Now, I'm just gonna stay the F away from these widows. Ah, the spider! It's trapped me! Uh, I've gotta stay as far away from these guys as possible because every hit does so much damage. And we're really slow, so a single jump could put us in a really bad spot. Okay, here's what we do here. We let the Meat Boys take care of the damage and the crowd control for the most part. And we use our candle to not get hit by shots. Perfect. That, that went fine. We don't have enough health to beat Isaac, though. Which, of course, means we're going to come across the boss room right away. Also, absolutely hate this room, as you might expect. Please, Meat Boys. I'm too slow. He's going to get a bead on me. Oh, that went perfectly, actually. Now, I mean, I guess we try it. And I just try to be super proactive. Pop this devil card. Meat boys, you have to you have to home into this guy. I'm sorry to tell you that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna fire, and every time we fire, we're gonna try to launch the candle at him. I'm just gonna move over here. Now I can adjust my strategy slightly. Uh, but I'm uh, yeah, there we go. We've taken one hit, and that means things are gonna come off the rails possibly very quickly here. Just gotta use the candle as much as possible. Keep the times when I'm not as vulnerable as high as they possibly can be. Candle was a very good pickup. Probably the best pickup that we got. Oh, and they were dead. I tried, though. That was actually a really good run. It just all came off the rails at the end. Maybe I should have taken Epic Fetus along with it. No, that would have made it far too easy. In any case, thank you guys for watching, and thank you to Nameless YouTube Commander for suggesting that run. I liked it a lot. As always, I will see you next time, and thank you guys for watching.